Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, everyone. I can see, I can see a new student today. Hello, Hello, what's your name? Jared. Caleb. Jared. Jared. No way, Jared. That's my brother's name. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Hello, Jared. <laughs> nice. Welcome. See you. To the... See you. <laughs> That's so handsome. Very good. How old is he? Sorry. How old is he? Ah, uh, uh, he is five years old. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's so no, cute. no. Sorry, three, three years old. <laughs> Three or five? Three, three. Okay, pretty good. Is that the yeah. only one? No, I have three childs. Children. Children's. Ah, okay. okay. Three children. This is the the oldest one or the youngest one? The youngest. Ah, that's cute. <laughs> All right, excellent. All right. Well, welcome to the class, everybody. How do you feel today? We hold power. <laughs> ah, that's good. We are in the middle of the week. Yeah. So, and the rest of you guys, how do you feel today? Um, I feel stronger than yesterday. Nice. I'm glad that you feel better. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Uh huh. Who else? Who else? Who else? How do you feel, guys? I can see Sifrido. Hello, Sifrido. How are you? I'm not too sure. I'm fine. <laughs> Pretty tired uh, yesterday, but I'm fine. <laughs> Very good. All right. So, guys, I know it's the middle of the week, so we can feel tired, but I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for keeping the camera on. I'm really happy to see you. So today is Wednesday. We are starting our fifth week. So basically, this is the last one, okay? This is the last week. Today, we are going to start the last unit. So if everything goes well, Remember, we will be ending classes um, next Tuesday, okay? And after that, we'll go to the next level. Are you ready, guys, to go to the next level? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Pretty good. So you are more than ready for that. So you need to feel confident, okay? As always, we are going to have a lot of practice, but I just want to remind you guys the platform. Have you worked on the platform? Yes. Only one says yes. And the other ones? Maybe you should do one and three. So nice. Okay. Right. <laughs> After the class. I <laughs> hope so. I hope so. Do it. Remember, today we are starting the unit number four. That means that you had to be working in the unit number four, okay? So do it, do it. We don't have more time, everybody. We have to do it. And remember, if you have some questions, if you have some doubts about the platform, about some exercises, just let me know and I will help you with the answers. We can share it here in the class, okay? Now, we are going to start. Uh, do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Mm -hmm. What was About the topic? The tuck. What is it? Tuck. Okay, tag questions. What is the other um, one? I heard someone. Pronouns. Ah, pronouns, but it has a specific name. Indefinite. Indefinite. 
Very good. Indefinite pronouns. That's the one. Excellent. All right. So today we are going to have more practice about it. So, but before that, I want to share with you your progress. Okay. Let me tell you that some of you have been working a lot in the platform, but guys, some others need to work harder. Um, well, let me see over here. Okay, can you see uh, the platform that I'm sharing right now? Yes, yes, I can. All right, by today, the week number three has to be done because remember, we are starting the last unit, we are starting the last week. So, um I have Amanda, I have Lorena, that they are good. Actually, Lorena already finished even the unit number four. That's excellent. Um, hmm, who else? Who else? Carlos Alberto, pretty good. If you want, you can try to get a higher score, but 80 is the minimum, so it's, it's acceptable, it's good. In the unit number three, Carlos Mauricio, Yes, very good with the unit number three. I have Edwin Quintero, who's already finished the unit number three and has a very good progress in the unit number four. That's excellent. Eulisa Torres finished the unit number three. Good job. And it's already working in the next unit. It's pretty good. I have Salvador Quintanilla that already finished everything. That's Good, already finished the four units. Postman has a very good progress too. Excellent. Kevin Alexander also already finished the unit number three. That's good. I have Nelson Alberto already finished the unit number three too and is working in the unit number four. That's good. So far so good. Osman Enrique, well, already finished, even the unit number four, excellent. I have Pamela that already finished the unit number three, pretty good. Who else? Well, I have Ricardo, 80% in the unit number three, okay. Sifrido already finished with a good score in the unit number three. And Wilbur, 88% in the unit number three. So if you see guys, so far so good. Now, you have to continue working in the unit number one. There are some people who hasn't finished the units, so guys, you have to continue working on it, all right? Uh, we don't have more time, and there are some people that they haven't even finished the unit number one, okay? So be careful, be careful with that, okay? Um, let's see. Remember that also, guys, in the unit number four, we are going to have the last exam. So don't forget to take it. Okay, we have to take the exam too. Now, I can see um, some of your classmates have some issues with the platform. So let me see, give me a second. I'm going to share with you one of the exercises. Uh, I think that is the 1.5, let's see. Okay, this is the exercise 1.5. So um, in this exercise, if you see guys, um, again, you have to be careful with the answer that you put. So let me show you in the number one, this is the answer. Look at this one. I'm sending it in the chat. So for the one who has doubt with that one, okay? In the number one is um, Big Online Store said, Trusted brands have a strong reputation. That is the number one. In the number two, I'm sending it. Remember guys, you have to be careful with every single letter, every single punctuation mark. 
Uh, number four is this one. I'm sending it in the chat. So please, everybody, if you have issues with this exercise, check your chat, please. This is the exercise. This is in the homework of the um, unit number one in the exercise 1.5, okay? Try with the answers that I shared and uh, let me know if it works or if it is still giving you an issue, okay? Do you have any other exercise, guys, that you have some doubt about it? Nope. Okay. okay. Pretty good. Okay. Now, um, I was reading, guys, the paragraph that you sent me yesterday. And honestly, I loved all the paragraphs that you wrote, okay? I felt very inspired about what you wrote and you were using very correctly like the uh, indefinite pronouns. There are just some little details that I was, that I found uh, in some paragraphs. For example, everybody are, can I say that? Everybody are. Is. Is. Ah, remember what is the rule? The rule says that these indefinite pronouns, they are considered third person. So we are going to say everybody is. Okay, they are always singular. Now, then it says we are in September. What do you think, guys? Is this correct or can you see any mistake? What do you think? We are in September. Anyone? will be at mm, we are at september hmm, not really think about it we are writing so is there any little detail or is it correct what do you think um the capital is Ah, capital letter, where? The S, September. Yes. Look, when we are talking, this is correct. We are in September. However, where we are typing, remember that months, days of the week, they are always in capital letters, always. Okay, be careful. Just imagine, guys, that you have to send an email. So typing is important too. Now, this weekend, hmm, is it correct? Uh, we, we, and double E. Double. Yes. So I know that you can think, I teacher is only one letter it is not a big deal but it is okay because guys um remember that in english only one letter can change the meaning of the sentence okay so just imagine that instead of imagine this is an example i have week and i have um week do you think that is there a difference here in the meaning yes um, yes different. there is a huge difference week <laughs> is when we are talking about monday tuesday days of the week right it's a period of time and week is an adjective it's a person who doesn't have a strength. So one letter can change the meaning of the sentence. That's why in English, you have to be very, very careful with the spelling, okay? 
Now, English classes. What do you think? Papelero. Where? E in, in English. Yes. Remember, guys, when we are talking about languages, always capital letters. If you are talking about subjects, capital letters. All right? So if you see, actually, guys, the paragraph were pretty good. As I mentioned, I really liked it. And there are just little details like these ones, especially with the spelling rules. We need to be very careful with that, okay? But so far, so good. Um, any questions so far about the spellings? No. No? Okay. Well, let's start, but I'm going to check attendance, everybody. And when you listen to your names, say present. Remember, this is the last week. So I hope that you guys can connect every single class. Imagine only five more classes, everyone. Okay, five more classes and you will be in another level. So let's start. Amanda Leonela Zamora. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Here. Thank Present. You. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay. Um, Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Okay. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. All right. Okay. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Sigüenza. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present. Thank you. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. All right, pretty good. Okay, now guys, let me start sharing with you the presentations for today's class. Let's see. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes, we can. Yeah? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so today is September 6th. So, as I mentioned, this is the last week. We are starting the last week. We are starting the last unit, unit number four. And this is the topic that we are going to study today, the definite article, all right? And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher? Me. Go ahead, yes. At the, end, at the end of the class, participants will understand and learn how to use the definitive article. Definite article. Definite article. Very good. If you paid attention, yesterday we studied the indefinite pronouns. So today we are going to learn the definite article. But what is that? We are going to learn it, okay? You will see that this is something that you used every single day, okay? But before, let's have a quick review. 
If you remember yesterday, we were using the indefinite pronouns. We talked about the indefinite pronouns for people and for things. What is the most important characteristics for the indefinite pronouns? Let's see if you remember. Mm -hmm. We can, uh, we can, oh, oh, we can know, know quantity specific. Ah, very good. Exactly. As its name says, they are indefinite. That means that they don't indicate the exact number. They are unspecified. Pretty good. Now, we were studying the way that we can use it. For example, I have anyone, anybody, and anything. Hmm. What do you think? When can I use these ones? The ones that starts with any. Negatives and questions. Negative and questions. Very good. In negative sentences or in questions. Pretty good. How about the ones that start with every like everybody or everything how can i use that in, in everything, <laughs> in uh, everything. Questions. correct i can use it in affirmatives in negative sentences but also in questions these ones are very flexible right nothing complicated how about the ones that start with no like no mm -hmm. one or nothing. Only in positive, positive, positive but with negative uh, significance. Meaning. Meaning, exactly. Affirmative sentences, but when the meaning is in negative. Can I use these ones in negative sentences? They will know. Never. Ah, never. Because of the double, the double negative. Correct. Excellent job. Then we have the last one that starts with some. When can I use them? Mm, in negative? Negative. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I, I'm sure about the questions with models, but not the other. <laughs> um, Just let me see my notes. Um, <laughs> Positive, positive, and positive sentences or questions. Like the question, have to use a model, can, will, could. Exactly. So basically, we can use some for questions, but special questions, right? Questions when we use models. Models like can, could, um, would, all right? If you're using those kind of models, you can use the word some in questions like someone, somebody, or something. So this is the way that we can use these indefinite pronouns. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, it is. Are you sure? With my life. <laughs> Are you ready for a quiz? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Only yes. one says yes, and the other one? So I guess. Excellent. OK, let's have a quick practice, OK? I will give you this uh, task. You don't have to write. You just have to choose the correct answer. If you see, we are going to do it individually, okay? You just have to complete these sentences with somebody, anybody, and nobody. So if we pay attention in the first part, somebody, what kind of sentences can I use with somebody?
Ajá. It's for... Somebody. Ajá. Positive. Or positive or special questions. Or special questions. That's it. That's what you have to remember. Anybody, on the other hand, it's for... Negative question. Negative or questions. And nobody? Positive. Positive, with but negative. with the negative meaning. Okay? So, look at the first sentence. There is... Ta, 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 in the classroom. It isn't empty. Hmm. What do you think? There is somebody... There is anybody or there is nobody? Somebody. Somebody. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. If you think that is somebody, click on it. Okay? That's what you have to do in all the sentences. There is somebody. Teacher, I have a question. Yes? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, in some uh, lyrics of songs, sometimes I heard uh, ain't nobody. Like what? Ain't nobody. Ah, ain't. Yes. Um, remember that the songs <laughs> they don't follow grammar rules. They just follow the things with the melody, the ones that goes with the melody. Ain't is a word. Grammatically, it is not correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that the spelling is like this, ain't, like this? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Ain't, actually, guys, is a word that is most common in the African-American English people, okay? And the meaning of ain't, <laughs> it's <laughs> basically the different negative words. For example, ain't can mean like is not. Um, are not, um, mm -hmm. not, okay, ain't, it, it's all of this, right? So, some people say, um, and I ain't go, or I ain't happy. Ain't is just a negative word, and can have different meanings. I mean, it's like, how can I say this? Es como que abarca <laughs> casi que todas las negative forms. Okay? If you see, I have todas las negative del verb to be, right? Also, sometimes they use it for the negative in past. So, es como decir una negative word, basically. Obviously, grammatically, it is not correct. <laughs> but it's very common in those people, like African-American people, the ones that we call niggas, okay? It's a very informal uh, word, but yeah, you will listen to a lot of people using it, especially in songs. But remember, guys, if you are going to listen to music in English, don't pay attention in grammar. <laughs> pay attention <laughs> in the pronunciation, but not in grammar, okay? Pretty good. So... Uh, that is the first part of the exercise. In the second part of the exercise, look, we are going to use something, anything, and nothing. What is the difference between something and somebody? Something is um, an object. Uh -huh. Somebody is for person. person. Exactly. Something is for object. Somebody is for people, but the rule is exactly the same. So in the second part, look at this one. It says, it's too dark. I can't see what is anything. Doing. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you think that is anything, click on it. If you think that is nothing, okay, click on it. <laughs> if you think that it's something, click on it, okay? The ones that you prefer. At the end of the exercise, as always, click in finish, check your answers, and then take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group, okay? Clear? 
the activity, everyone? If we have 10, we, we, we will get extra points. <laughs> if you have 10, you will have more than that. <laughs> you will have the satisfaction to have um, 10. Not, not enough to knowledge. <laughs> you get the knowledge, you get the experience, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group. And also, guys, I'm going to send it here in the chat, okay? Remember, this is a practice. Don't take it like an exam. I don't want you to copy. Do it with your own knowledge, okay? I just want to see how much the topics have been understood, okay? No worries. Age between 10 and 30 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> do it guys good luck thank you if you have a question don't ask because <laughs> it's an exam no I'm kidding I'm kidding if you have questions please just let me know go ahead read carefully that's the secret for this activity read carefully <laughs> if you have questions just let me know please read carefully the sentences everyone that's the secret read carefully
Read carefully, everyone. Read carefully. You have to try to analyze if the sentence is affirmative, negative, or if it is a question, okay? Be careful, be careful. You have to try to analyze if the sentence maybe is affirmative but with a negative meaning, okay? Be careful with that. I can see four people already finished, right? Continue guys, read carefully, okay? If you have questions, tell me, please. I can see some of your classmates already finished. Very good. I can see very good scores. We are going to verify some of the answers, okay? But when your classmates finish.
I can see eight people already finished. All right. Continue, guys. I want to everybody try to do the activity, please. Don't forget to take the, uh, the screenshot and send it on WhatsApp group, please. We are going to verify the answers and analyze why that's the correct answer. I will give you two more minutes for the one who hasn't finished. Two more minutes. All right, it's pretty good. Well, I think almost everybody already finished and I can see very good scores, but I can see some other scores mm, can improve a little bit, okay? So everybody, let's analyze the answers. I know that some sentences, well, could be a little bit confusing, all right? So, Let's analyze some of them. I can see that some people had some issues in the first sentence. So most of you wrote somebody. Is that correct? Some of you wrote anybody and some of you wrote nobody. So what is the correct answer and why? Somebody. Okay, why do because, you think that is so Because it says that the room is, isn't empty. Ah, look. And, be, and you cannot use anyone because anyone it's only for negative, um, negative, negative, negative uh, questions. <laughs> In this case, if you see, first of all, you can see there is. Ah, okay. There is, is affirmative sentence so i cannot use anybody okay Descartado. we cannot use it so this is between somebody and nobody, nobody because i can say there is somebody in the classroom i can say there is nobody in the classroom however look at the complement the complement says it isn't empty. Está vacío el classroom? Yes or no? No. no? no. No. That means that there is somebody or there is nobody. Somebody. That's the one. So in some of these sentences, some of you got mistakes because you didn't read the complement. The complement is the secrets. Um, I can see Salvador. Do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. ahead. Okay. Can you explain me about anything, something, nothing? Okay. Let's scroll down. Yes. 
Okay, something, anything, and nothing. When we are talking about these, look, they are ending in thing. That means that these words are used when we are talking about objects. Objects. Here, we are not talking about people. We are talking about objects, things. But things. the rules are exactly the same. How? Something is for affirmative sentences or special questions with models. Anything is for negative and the common questions. And nothing is exactly the same as nobody. This is for affirmative sentences, but with the negative meaning. So in this case, the rules, everybody, are exactly the same. The only things that is different is that we are not talking about people. We are talking about objects. Got it? Yes? Thank you, Tito. Okay, is there another sentence, guys, that you don't have a idea or you don't understand why your answer is incorrect? B. Which one? B. B. B in the first or in the second part? The second part. Okay, in the second part. What did Jane say? So, look at this one. Here, <laughs> we don't know if the sentence is affirmative, negative, or question because it's only one word and then there is a point. However, the complement is going to tell you the answer. Look at this one. She didn't say sentence is in? Negative. 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 So, which one can I use? Mm. Anything. 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 Okay. She didn't say anything. Translation? Mm -hmm. Ella no dijo nada. Ah, so what is the answer to the first question? What did Jane say? Nothing. Something, nothing. anything, or nothing? Mm -hmm. Nothing, maybe. Nothing. This is like if I were asking you, hey guys, um, ¿qué dijo Kevin? And you answer, mm, nada, él no dijo nada. Okay, that's the meaning of this sentence. Okay, I know that in some sentences it's a bit confusing, but guys, again, the complement, the rest of the sentence is going to give you the answer. Another one, another sentence. In the letter G, teacher. In the first or in the second part? The second part. The letter G? Yes. Okay, look at this one. Do you know ta, 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 about insects? What do you think, guys? Um, anything. 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 Why? Because anything because it's a question. With a question. In this case, it's a question. Can I use something for questions? No, only special with models. Only with ah, models. And this question is special. Do I have a model mm -hmm. here? No. no, not really. It's a typical question. That's why we use anything. Do you know anything about insects? That's the correct one. Okay. Okay, got it. Very good. Mm -hmm. Any other one, guys? Do you have any other questions for the first or in the second part? Any sentence that maybe you don't understand? Maybe the letter first. G, the first question. Okay, in the first part? Yes, letter G. G, okay. Look at this one, guys. Who did you meet? This is similar to the previous example. I have only one word, so you don't know exactly if the sentence is affirmative or negative. That's why we need to read the complement. Who did you meet? Hmm. The party was 
over. What is the meaning of the party was over? There's no, there's no, no one there. <laughs> is finished? Uh, yeah. La fiesta ya se había terminado. <laughs> so, what happens? Esta persona llegó a la fiesta, entonces, tell me, ¿a quién conoció? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody, right? I mean, no conoció a nadie. ¿Por qué? Because the party was over. Tendría sentido si yo digo, ah, a alguien, la fiesta ya se había terminado. Does it make sense? No. Not really. Not really. Right? So that's why we say nobody. Nobody. The party was over. Okay. Clear, everybody? Yes. Now, listen. Compliments. Uh, sometimes you see, ah, it's a question. Okay, I will say anybody. Mm, not really, guys. Okay? You need to read the compliment. You need to be careful with that. Any other sentence or any there other question? See. There will see. In the first or in the second part? First. In the first part, okay, look at this one. There is ta, 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 at the school at this time of the year uh, of the day. It's closed. So what do you think, guys? ¿Cómo está la escuela? The, the school is the place. Okay. is empty. Ah, so si la escuela está cerrada, tell nobody. me, there is somebody, anybody, or nobody? Nobody. There is nobody. ¿Por qué no hay nadie? Ay, because the school is closed. closed. ¿Puedo usar, can I use anybody? No. No, really, because the sentence is affirmative okay so si la oración es affirmative we can only use somebody or nobody but because of the context if the school is closed the correct answer is nobody got it yes teacher maybe a little e got it in which one the in first, the first yes. okay look at this one everybody what's happening I don't know. Look at this. There is a point. Okay. That means that here we are starting a new sentence. So what's happening? I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. Knows. Somebody knows? No. Or anybody knows? No. Or nobody knows? Nobody. Ah, and what will be the translation for this sentence? Imagine that I ask you, hey, guys, what's happening? What is the translation here? Yo no sé. Nadie sabe. <laughs> That's it? Exactly. So imagine that in this case, mm, tendría sentido si yo digo, hey, yo no sé. Alguien sabe. Mm, it sounds weird, actually. Right? So the best option is nobody. Nadie sabe. Got it? Yes. yes. Pretty good. So if you want, guys, if you have a little free time, maybe not today, maybe during the week, if you want to uh, do the exercise again, I recommend you to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Try to read a sentence again, but now read it carefully. Okay, and try to do the exercise again in order to get a better score. Remember that the idea, guys, is try to understand when we can use these words. Any questions so far? Questions? Questions? No. Easy or no. difficult, the exercise? So, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I well, need practice. we need to try to read carefully, guys. Okay? We need to try to read, but pay attention in what we are reading. Now that we already practice grammar, 
and reading. It's time to practice speaking. So in this warm up, we are going to speak as always. And we are going to do something similar about what we wrote yesterday, but now we are going to do it in a speaking form. You have just to answer this question, guys. How is your year going so far? Okay? So talk to your classmates about your year. Think about January. All the things that you have done or haven't done since January. And try to use the indefinite pronouns. Try to use someone, something, or anyone, anybody, anything, or nothing, no one, or the ones that start with every, everything, everyone. Okay, the idea is that you can try to use as many indefinite pronouns as possible. For example, this year I met someone in my job and now this person is my friend and things like that. Or you can say, uh, this year I didn't buy anything too expensive because, you know, I'm trying to save money. And I want you guys to try to ask questions to your classmates. So, for example, ah, uh, that's interesting. And tell me, did you do anything important? Or you can say, did you meet anyone? Okay, did you talk to anybody in your job? Did you visit anyone during vacations? Right, so you can try to also ask questions using the indefinite pronouns. Is it clear, the speaking activity, everybody? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay. I'm going to send the instructions on WhatsApp groups. Please, everybody, remember that this is the moment to talk, okay? I want you to feel free to talk. I want you to everybody participate, all right? The more you practice, the more that you will improve. I know that today I have, um, well, I have a lot of listeners today also, but um if you are in a group where nobody is talking just let me know okay i will try to connect only the ones that are not listeners give me a second okay mm -mm -mm. Okay, give me a moment. I'm creating the groups. All right, we'll go to the breakup rooms right now. Please, everybody, enter to the breakup rooms and practice. If your classmate makes a mistake, you can help each other. Remember, we are a team, okay? You ready, everybody? Yes? Pretty good, let's go to work. Ricardo. Hi. Uh, Want to start? <laughs> yes. Did you do anything new in this year? What? Did you do anything new in this year? Well, this year, um, I think I didn't do anything new but um, no actually i start uh, the university again so that will be something new right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Mm, that was in February. Yeah, I start. I restart my my studies, my professional studies. Um. Um, this year, I I don't think I had anything very important to say. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. How about you? You, Lorena, did you do in, anything new? In my case, I didn't do anything interesting in this year. I only working sleeping and existing <laughs> um but uh i believe that all the time is uh, a good time for no uh, uh, something new peoples maybe and you um my case Yes, uh, I have to do something new. Uh, I am uh, a WFM. Uh, I analyze data, and I had two new accounts, and I have, I had sorry to do a new reports for that, and that was. A little bit stressful, but we are here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and did you meet to someone? No, did you meet to anyone in this year? A boyfriend, girlfriend, or just mm -hmm. a friend? Well, actually, I have met. I had met. Sorry, a lot of friends. Because I I I, I tell you right that I restarted my study, so I met a lot of people. They are very good people, I think. So that would be I don't know, the answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In, in, my in my case, I didn't. No, I did know. Uh, no one special. And um, all day I saw the same people. Um, I didn't meet, you said. Uh, I didn't meet. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. In your case? Uh, no. No, I didn't meet to, to someone new. I didn't meet to anybody, to anybody new, <coughs> to anybody didn't, uh -huh. to anybody new. Um, because I working from my house and just I have met with the managers and, and director programs. So just with them and if something or oh, if someone new appears, I am the last to know that. Uh, uh, uh good time. Hello. Um, what time do you exactly? Need to arrive. You get you, you get at at the job. Um, Probably. <laughs> okay. Seven I year. think oh. it's how to have time. Do you have to arrive? Yes. Yes. Possibly. It depends. If I arrive at six a.m., I can move my schedule and I start at six a.m. and get out of the office at. 4 p.m. So it's like okay. I moved one hour earlier. Okay, I get it. And so uh, tell me about uh, 
let me see. <laughs> Come on, let's speak in English. Let's hear how this your here. how your year <laughs> is going so far. Oh, my year how, is going so how far. How is your year going so far? Um, is the question on the on the? Uh, I think that that question is, is a compliment, <laughs> but it's a, it's okay. Um. I didn't do anything important this year. <laughs> I I didn't do anything. anything important this year because it's on a, a negative. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, we can say the sentence I do nothing. Yes. Important, right? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Um I, well, I me don't... too. I do nothing important this year. Uh, <laughs> since January uh, only breathe <laughs> until September 6th, I I didn't I didn't do Anything important? Yes, yes. Yeah, Jose Salvador, what about you? Are are you? Uh, did you do some important in this year? I I believe that I. No, <laughs> I don't know. So, in Pamela, give him an example. Um, yes, we we have to use the, the indefinite pronouns in, in questions or in sentences. For example, uh, yeah. can you cook uh, something? Yes, that is an example using okay. something. Okay. And, and there is anyone, anybody, everyone, everybody, no one, nobody. Okay. All that um, words are indefinite pronouns. So, okay, it's my question. Answer my questions, guys. <laughs> Can you cook something? Is the question. Ah. No, but in this case, we are talking about uh, our years. Oh, uh, what, okay, okay, okay. What have we been doing during this year? If you are, uh, if you were doing something, maybe in your work, and if you get in an important meeting, or you, you meet someone that maybe is special now in in your life, a friend, a, a mate, yeah. even a, a couple, maybe why not? Okay, okay. That's the question. Something that you been doing during this week. The, during this year, sorry. This year, yes. Yeah. You didn't buy anything too expensive? Oh. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't really. have money to <laughs> buy expensive things. The <laughs> most yes. expensive is maybe my boats for work. <laughs> so Dollar City, we have to, anything, anything we have to go to Dollar City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Rizzo yeah. in Dollar City. <laughs> Let's go to Dollar City. <laughs> There's a lot of things great in Dollar City. Yes, the, you, you can find... You find oh. everything there. <laughs> yes, a lot of things so interesting. Yes, yes. 
Ok. Uh, did you do anything important uh, this weekend? Anything important? Mm. Keeping Not alive is really. the most important. <laughs> 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 Oscar, I know. Sí. Can you can you tell me? Did you do anything important import important this this week? No, I'm saying that the the most important thing that I that I made no that I did in I this did. weekend is getting still alive, keeping alive. <laughs> because I'm, in my case, I don't do I don't do so much important things. Well, the most relevant thing that I'm doing in this moment is learning English. Ah, okay. <laughs> good. Good. Okay, Nelson, what about you? Nelson, are you? <laughs> Nelson, here. are you there? Yes, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I, need your, I need your opinion, Nelson. Yes, but this this topic. Uh... But you are the artist. <laughs> what? You are the artist. Artist. What's, artist. What's the artist? What's the meaning of artist? Artist. Artista. Oh, ah. Artist. Teacher, okay. can you hear yes, me? Yes, but, but yes. the topic uh, uh, makes confusion. Uh, in How is the correct pronunci pronunciation pronunciation artista? Actually, both are possible. Yes, Some people say artist. Oh, Some artist. other, yes, Art depending mm -hmm, if you want to pronounce the letter T or if you want to transform it like a letter R. Artist. More mm -hmm. Artist. Okay. Yes. Nelson, you are the artist. Tonight, uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Uh, the no, topic is the confused for me because you know? uh, yesterday I, I, I was okay. a listener. Who, who can play some inst musical inst um, instrument, musical or musical instrument? Musical instrument. Musical instrument. Musical instrument. No, I would like to. I love the piano okay. and the violin, but I don't play any one of them. But I would like to. Uh, Pamela, do you no play? one, no one in the group. <laughs> Pamela, do you play anything instrument? Yes, I play some some instruments. I play ba battery. I don't know if that it's correct yeah. drums <laughs> drums ah sorry drums yes drums, I drums. drums. um okay we, we went to you guitar and nice. uh, i was learning violin but i don't finish my classes <laughs> show us. but i have my violin <laughs> pamela show us um <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I don't have practice. <laughs> ah, okay. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We'll wait for your classmates. They are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Time's up, time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. All right, all right, time's up. Very good, everyone. Let's go back to the main room. All right, how was the practice? Mm, okay. 
<laughs> and the rest of you guys, was it easy, difficult, 50-50? So so 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. For, for me teacher 50, 50. was was good because Kevin teach me some some yes. exercise and uh -huh. I can I yes I could I can practice that's great with this that's good excellent and that's the idea guys remember that we are a team this is not like, ah, I'm not going to explain. No, come on. We are a team. We have to help each other. So when your classmate uh, doesn't understand, if your classmate doesn't know the answer or doesn't know the word in English, come on, let's help each other. Okay, so that's excellent. So did you pay attention to your classmates? How is their year <laughs> so far? What did they say? Is it good? Mm, kind of bad? What do you think? What did your classmates say? Uh-huh. Anything interesting about your classmates? Anyone? No? Or you don't remember what your classmate said? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh -huh. My classmates say my, my classmates said that they didn't do anything important this week. <laughs> oh come on. Only this week or, or this year? <laughs> mm, they are they are being positive. So <laughs> they only say this week. <laughs> All right. But guys, you have been here in the class. That's something important. You have worked on the platform. That's something important too. Now, excellent job because I like the way that you were practicing. Just uh, be careful with some little details. Look at this. Let me share. I didn't do anything imagine that your classmates say this ah uh, you know what during this year hmm, i didn't do anything and your classmate says yeah me too can i say this mm, i did nothing too <laughs> ah, me neither remember me too it's for affirmative sentences is this an affirmative sentences no. no, no, is negative. So if the sentence is negative, we use oops, neither. Okay, me neither. I didn't do anything. Yeah, me neither. Okay, remember that. Me neither, negative sentences. Me too positive sentences okay look at the next question did you do something important is that correct what do you think uh, anything it's a question it's a question is that a special question no not really we don't have models so the correct one is, did you do anything, okay? Anything important. Now, the next one, this is not related to the pronouns, but look at this one. There is a lot of things. What do you think? Is that correct? There are. What is it? There are. Plural. Very good. There are. Because in this case, guys, I'm talking about a lot of things. I'm talking about plural. So if it is plural, I need a word in plural. Okay? Little details. Okay? So we need to be careful about it. Any questions so far, guys, about the indefinite pronouns? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Everybody? Yes? 
All right. Well, if you don't have questions, don't worry. I will try to take some minutes in some other classes in order that we can review and practice this topic. So my recommendation is review, please. Review your classes, review your notes. And remember that on YouTube, guys, you can watch the class again. So if you want to review the topic, you can go to YouTube and watch the video again, okay? Now, let's stop thinking about the indefinite pronouns and let's practice a new topic. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. Yes? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, the topic that we are going to practice today is this one. The definite article. Have you ever heard about this topic? Yes. Mm, no. All right. Anybody? Yes, I do, teacher. Excellent. Pretty good. Listen, maybe you don't remember the specific topic, but I'm pretty sure that you know the topic. We are going to talk about this word. The. Do we use this word in English? Yes, a lot. <laughs> Now, let me ask. Always. Always. Now, do we use this one? Yes or not? Yeah. Yes. Yes. How about this one? Yes. Also. Yes. So, those are the definite articles. Okay? So that is basically what we are going to be talking about. It's pretty simple, don't worry. So let's read this conversation. In this conversation, you will see how they are using these definite articles. I have Jose and Tito. They are talking about their customer's experience in a new store. Who wants to read? I need volunteers. I want to be Jose. You want to be Jose, perfect. I need someone else for Tito, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Very good. So this conversation is in your manuals yeah. in the page awesome. 37. Awesome. I'm sorry? No. I'm sorry. Continue. Okay. It's okay. So let's go to the manual. I'm going to try to do it bigger. Okay. So guys, go ahead. Okay. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. It's correct, teacher. Yes, awesome. The, the augment augmented. Really, augmented really tore the stuff prepared was incredible. Uh, I think it's I think it's not correct. I think it's real reality. But but it's not how you say it. It's it's the word on the on the fragment. But whatever. <laughs> yes, it was. You just had to scan the code on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures and the streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part where the pronounced Promotional calls for free album downloads. 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 All right. So look at this one. This is a pretty common conversation, right? And the idea is that we are using the indefinite, oh, well, in this case, the definite articles. Look at this. Is it common to use this word in English, guys? The yes. word the? All the time. Yes. 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 We use it all the time. Now, we are going to learn two important things. In Spanish, do we use this word in Spanish? Yes, el a la. <laughs> Actually, we use it more in Spanish than what we use it in English. So, in Spanish, we use it for everything, right? But in English, there are some scenarios where we don't need it. 
So we are going to divide this topic into parts. The first part is the ones that we are going to study today. When we need to use the. In another class, we are going to study when the article the is not necessary, okay? So we are going to see both scenarios, but let's start learning about the, okay? What is the definite article? Hmm, what is the meaning of that? Volunteer for reading, please. I'll do it. Yes? We use the, def the definite article is the word the. We use the definite article in front of a noun when we believe the listener or reader knows exactly what we are referring to. Thank you. So one of the characteristics of the article the, all right, is that we can use it when we think or when we believe that the person that is listening to us or that is reading knows the object that we are talking about. For example, imagine right now I'm talking to you and I say, yeah, guys, let's go to the manual. If I say that word, the manual, do you know what manual I'm talking about? Yes, the yes. manual of the level five. Exactly. So I'm using the because you already know what I'm talking about. If I say, hey guys, are you ready to go to the next Point. level? <laughs> Do you know what the what is the next level that I'm talking about? Yes, yes, level six. Yes, that's why I can use the because again, I believe that you that are listening to me, you already know what I'm talking about. Imagine if I say, Hey guys, did you work on the platform? <laughs> Do you know what it's the platform that I'm talking about? No. No. Ah, excuses. Point, pointless. <laughs> All right. So you know exactly what I'm referring to. That is one of the characteristics of this article. Understood? Yes. Yes. Pretty good. Again, there are some scenarios where I don't need the article, but that is what we are going to study later. Now, here we got some examples. Look at this one. I am the pirate. In this sentence, we believe that there is a specific pirate, okay? Again, no. imagine that I say, for example, I am... Instead of pirate, imagine that I say, I am the teacher. That means that you already know what I'm talking about. In this case, the teacher of English. Oh, look at the next one. Imagine that somebody say, hey, can we go to the park? If we say that, it's because we believe that there is a specific park and the listener knows that park. Got it? Yes. Got I it. have a question. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so if we use that when we think that the, the other speaker or listener knows what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. so in the last uh, sentence or, or the last question, uh, it's okay not to use the park like like if I am saying, uh, can we go to Disneyland Park? If they don't know what Disneyland is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What happens, guys, if the person doesn't know the park that you are talking about? You have to analyze, and that is what we are going to see. What do we do? Do I need to omit the article that? And can I say, um, can we go to park? Mm. 
Not really. What we can do if the person doesn't know is to specify, okay? And you can say, can we go to some park? Mm -hmm. Can we go to a park? Imagine, there is a difference. Imagine that I say, hey guys, can we go to the park? This is the same as in Spanish. Hey, podemos ir al parque? Si yo les digo al parque, immediately, un parque se les viene a la mente. Yes or no? Yes. Right? Pero the si yo les digo... Next corner. <laughs> <laughs> Pero si yo les digo, hey guys, vamos a un parque. A un parque. Mm, do you know exactly which one? No. Not really. Right? So that is what we do. If, the, if you don't think that the person knows exactly what they are talking about, we can change it. And instead of the, we can use a or an. Yes? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Pretty good. Now, let's see. There are different scenarios where we can use the, okay? For example, when we use da for second mentions, okay? Look at the sentence. I saw a man. I saw a man and the dog. Later, I continued talking about that man. So I repeat again the word man. In that case, because I'm repeating it, I use the article da. The man was old. Another example, imagine that I'm talking about a students. You know what, guys? Next, uh, last year, I have a student. The student was very rebel. Did I repeat the noun? Yes or no? Look, I met a student. Esa es la primera vez que lo menciono. If I repeat the word, if I repeat the student, if I have a second mention, I can use the article. Ah, the student was very rebel. Okay? Second mention. Es como cuando volvemos a repetir el mismo noun. Okay? Got it? ¿Se entiende esa parte de la second mention? Yes. Yes. But we, we don't use that. Yes. Right? We using a, a real name. Mm, there are exceptions, and I'm going to explain that in the next class, because okay. when we are using proper names, is going to depend. Okay. For example, I cannot say the Kevin, the <laughs> Lorena. Not really, but there are some. Things that we can use, for example, when we are saying the, what? The Garcia's family, for example. I'm using a last name, but I'm talking about a group of people. So in that case, you can use it, okay? But not with proper names. I mean, with a name, no. Okay. Yes. Also, guys, we can use the when we are talking about specific things, the ones that I mentioned before, okay? When we mention something that we think that the person already know. For example, imagine that I'm talking and I say, yeah, guys, I have three kids and uh, my children are very special. Uh, they children go to the school. Imagine, I'm talking about the children, my kids. So that is something specific. Like the previous example that I mentioned, the platform, the manual. Those are specific things that you already know. Understood? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. We can talk and use the article da when we have only one thing. Listen, this is a little bit tricky for the ones that are learning the language. Digamos que ustedes tienen una category y solo hay una cosa en esa category. Entonces usamos da. 
For example, sun. the moon, the sun. ¿Cuántos soles the tenemos? Earth, um, in this, in this. Um, Obviously, um, talking about, and, and that's why <laughs> this is a little tricky because some people say, "Yeah, teacher," but um, there are some many planets, and there are more moons. Sun and <laughs> no, there are thousand millions of suns that are billions of planets yes i know but we are talking about in our reality how many moons do you see how many moons can you see only one only one so it's only one in that category so every time that we are talking about the moon we say the moon every time that we are talking about the sun we say the sun the mm -hmm. planet can you think in another thing that is unique earth. the earth the earth yes okay so when we are talking about something that is unique is the article the yes Clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. don't overthink, please. And I'm going to say this in Spanish. No lo piensen demasiado. Don't overthink. Because again, if you start thinking like, yes, teacher, but there are more planets. Teacher, there are more, uh, the universe is huge. I know, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but again, let's think about our reality. The things that we can see, the things that we can perceive. Then we can use the for common places. And again, this is related what I was explaining before. If I say the supermarket, is that a common place? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Totally. If I say, guys, let's go to the supermarket. Do you know what is the supermarket that I'm talking about? Exactly. No. No. Not really. I know, some, I know some some supermarket. Exactly. But you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. So remember, we can use the for common places. Yes. But remember, you can use it with someone when you think or when you believe that that person knows what's the supermarket that you are talking about, okay? Got it? If the person doesn't know, ya les dije, podemos cambiarlo y podemos decir, ah, hey, let's go to a supermarket. Which one? Ah, the supermarket that is in Metro Centro. Ah, okay, now? the person knows what the supermarket that you are talking about, right? There is another scenario where we can use the article da, and this is the most common one when we are using superlatives. Do you know that with superlatives, we need the article da all the time, yes? For example, yes. the best the best. city, uh -huh. the biggest, country the most delicious food okay so we use the article da all the time that we are talking about superlatives and the last one if you are talking about musical instruments during the practice i was listening to some groups talking about musical instruments every time that you talk about an instrument we use the ah i can play the violin we don't say I can play a violin. Mm -mm, not really, right? Si ustedes me dicen I can play a violin, that sounds like you can play only one violin. Si le dan otro violin, mm -mm, ese no lo puedo tocar, <laughs> right? So you have to be careful. Ah, I can play a guitar or the guitar. What do you think? What is the correct one? A guitar or the guitar? The guitar. The guitar. The guitar. The guitar. That's the one. Ah, I can play 
the piano or I can play a piano. The piano. The piano. The piano. Okay. So when we are talking about musical instruments, we always use the article the. And you can think, teacher, and why is this topic important? <laughs> well, let me tell you guys. One simple word as this article can change the meaning of a sentence. Okay? Only one, if you see the article that is very simple, but that simple article can change the meaning of the sentence. Okay? That's why it is important and we need to learn how to use it. Got it, everyone? Got it. Yes? Got it. Now, there is another definite article and it's the ones that we were mentioned before, a and an. What is the meaning of a and an? Una, una. One, right? This is like when we say one. What is the difference between a and an? Mm, you use an example. with the next word has a vocal. Okay, a vowel. vowel or a, yes, a vowel. <laughs> consonant. Good. For example, can I say a uh, apple? Can I say this? No, an apple. No, an apple. Ah, we are going to say an apple. Can I say an car? Yes. No, a car. We say a car. A car. A car. So a uh, when the next word start with a consonant. An when the next word start with a vowel. So how can we use a and an? Look at this one. When we are using the first mention, when is the first time that we are talking about it? Let's go back to the example. Imagine that I say, hey everybody, um, let's go to the park. ¿Les había mencionado el parque antes? No. 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 It's the first time. Entonces, what do you think? Can I use the or can I use a? Uh. Exactly. Uh. Hey, let's go to a park. Porque esa es la primera vez que lo estoy mencionando. This is the first time. Okay? And then you can say, yeah, teacher, but where? Yes, let's go to Bicentenarios Park, okay? And then I can continue talking. Si yo sigo hablando de Bicentenarios Park, ya no es la primera vez. Entonces, ahí sí, ya puedo decir the, the park. park. Is it clear? Yes. Yes? Yes. Very good. Also, guys, we can use a or an when we are talking about jobs and this is important okay so in spanish we say um yo soy maestra yo soy médico and yo soy secretario o secretaria we don't use the article but in english we always say a uh, for example i'm a doctor um i'm a teacher I'm an engineer. When you are going to say or tell somebody a job, you always use a. Ah. Got it? Yes? Yes. Always, everyone. Don't forget it. And then we can use a or an when we are just giving descriptions. Okay? For example, if you are talking about your city, I, my city, yes, is an interesting city. In my city, there is a big supermarket, okay? Ah, there is a beautiful park. So if you are describing, you can also use a uh, and and, okay? Which one do you think that is easier to use? 
a and n or the article the? Which one is easier? Uh, 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 maybe. The second <laughs> one, yeah. In this one. case, yes, a and n is like easier because look, there are not so many difficult scenarios that you have to consider it. Just think about it. If you are talking for the first time, ah. If you are talking about jobs, ah. If you are describing something, perfect, ah. Got it? Yes? Yes. Yes. Questions so far? No, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> maybe during the speaking practice, right? Mm, yes. <laughs> Don't worry, we are going to practice a lot this topic. Um, what I'm trying to say is this, guys. If you see the and a and an, those can be words that we use every single day. They can be or they can look very simple, right? You don't need to complicate a lot. But remember, only one word can change the meaning of the sentence. And that's why we need to practice these topics. Okay? Now, Let's have a practice. I'm going to share with you guys some sentences and you just have to complete the sentence using the correct article. You have to decide if you need to use a, an, or the, okay? Let's resolve it together. And at the end, we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. For example, look at the number one, Lola, has what do you mm. think an mm. an mm. an awful headache she needs some rest are you sure yes yes, yes. all right mm, so teacher if the complement of that uh, sentence was uh, lola has an awful headache uh and then he said that the headache is getting worse. It's uh, it's correct because I it's use the this because it's the second mention. Uh, yes, of course, absolutely. Remember that is what you have to think about it. Is the first mention or is a second mention? All right. If it is mm -hmm. the first one, let's use a. Uh, if it is the second one. As your, as your classmate said, then we can start using the article the, okay? Now, um, well, I, I forgot what I was about to say, I'm sorry. Okay, number two, volunteer for reading, please. My sister works as a waitress at the vegan restaurant. A waitress, are you sure? Yes, because yes. it's a profession. Ah, we are talking about jobs. Okay. Number three, volunteer for reading. Maybe the book you gave me for my birthday is awesome. 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 Thank you very much. Hmm. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, I agree. Yes. yes. We know about what book we are talking about. Ah, in this case, if you analyze the sentence, just imagine the scenario. You gave the book. Si ustedes le dieron el libro, ¿saben de qué libro está hablando? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Right? That's good. Number four, volunteer. Only one, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just read. Uh huh. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, can you tell me the time? I'm sorry, I don't have a watch. Okay. Do you agree, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. I don't have a watch. Next one, please. If I don't have volunteers, I'm going to start asking individually. I'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Edgar lives in an old house. All right. Do you agree, everybody? 
an old house? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. One point less. No, no, no. One extra homework for each mistake. So I <laughs> want to everybody help each other. Number six, who wants to try? Me. Thank you. Go ahead. Can you tell me how to get to the nearest supermarket? To the yeah. nearest. Do you agree, everyone? Can you tell me how to get to the nearest? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because it's yes. a common place. Mm -hmm. It's a common place and? It's nearest. <laughs> and what is the meaning of nearest? What Cercano. is that? Cercano. Next to me. It's a superlative, okay? Do we need the article that? Oh, the yes. yes. Ah. I love the superlative. Is exactly. With that. That's good. That's good. Okay, next one. Who wants to try? Mila has a friendly dog. All right. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? A friendly dog? Yes. 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 All right. Next one. Who wants to try? I haven't understood the last rule. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, we haven't yes. understood the last rule. <laughs> <laughs> the last rule. This is like uh, related to the topic, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Next one. Oh my gosh, no more volunteers? <laughs> Lorena, thank you, go ahead. <laughs> Do you want to play uh, the game of She's Now? Okay, Do you want to play the chess, uh, the game of oh, chess geez. now? Do you agree, everybody? No. No. Hmm. <laughs> Why not? Because you don't know what the game of chess, because if you are, didn't start a, a partida, a, a, I don't know how to say it in English. Match? <laughs> a game? A match? match? Yes. yes. So in this case, what is the correct one in your opinion? Okay. Okay. Do you want to play? So everybody, let's make a decision. Do you want to play? a game of chess now or do you want to play the game of chess now i believe that is the because uh tell the the kind of game that uh, they can play mm -hmm. that makes sense and you guys it's the first time that we're talking about game of chess. Yes, the first time. mention. Okay. So, ah, uh, is that your final answer? Yes. One extra homework if the answer is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Who wants to try? Oh, come on. An excellent. Thank uh, you. An excellent pair of new shoes. Okay, and excellent. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Totally. Yes. Okay, next one. Da. Da. Okay, but read the full sentence. Come I'm on. sorry. <laughs> the night is quiet and pleasant. Let's go for a walk. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes, it's yes. unique. The, the night. Ah. How many nights can you live at the same time? Only one. Only one. Um, so that makes sense. Good. We are going to see it later. Number 12, <laughs> volunteer. And I have and recently heard. Amazing. And start yeah. with with vowel, but yes, <laughs> the first name, yes, and 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 are you sure? Yes. I remember, think yes. remember my friendly advice: don't overthink. 
<laughs> Listen, sometimes the first answer that comes to your mind, sometimes that's the correct one. But you will start to overthink and it's like, mm, but it, and then is when you get confused. Don't overthink. All right, everybody. Are you sure about your answers? Yes. I have a doubt uh, respect the number five. Okay. Edgar lives in, in the old house. In the old house or in an old house. What do you think, guys? Uh, I believe it is that because it's a a house, a old house that we know. Mm. And you guys, what do you think? Do you want to change? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I keep it and no um okay we're going to we see it <laughs> we can use both <laughs> well let's see let's see the answers da, 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 da. too many ads oh my god i know this website is awesome but too many ads. Feature, come on install an ad blocker you can do it nah <laughs> <laughs> Then I have so many pop-up messages on my email. So look at this one. Correct, Perfect. correct, correct. Oh my goodness. Everything have, is correct. 100% correct. correct. So tomorrow we didn't have a class. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And, and, and we don't have a, a, a homework. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow the will be our day off. In the fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, my gosh. Just because of that, I will give you extra homework, okay? Now, look at this one. Pretty good job. If you see, guys, when you see the theory, it looks very complicated, right? You see the rules, you see the scenarios. I know, it looks complicated. But you know that in the practice, it becomes easier. Now, let's continue. <laughs> If you see, guys, we can use the article da with some nouns. For example, imagine that I have this sentence. Is the currency of the United States. What is the correct noun here? Dollar. Dollar? Dollar. So, can I say only dollar? The dollar, dollar, the dollar. or the dollar? The dollar. Ah, so we are going to say the dollar is the currency of the United States. How about the next one? Is the tallest animal in the world? The giraffe. giraffe. Do I need the article down? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's general. It's general? Mm. Are you sure that that's the reason? It's not one year of a specific thing. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but is the tallest. And what is that? Superlative. Superlatives. Don't forget it. If you have superlatives, use the article da. Next one is one of the largest tropical fruits. The potato. I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, guys? What? I, I didn't find a ripple. What is a ripple? I don't know. You tell me. Have you ever seen that, um, one, guys? That's the only option that is not is not something that I know. So <laughs> May, maybe refer to sweet potato. Could no, be. I think is missing is missing answers. They are only uh, eight. Let me the, see. Yeah, in there the... are ten answers and only uh, uh, eight. Yes, uh, I don't need it. Me. I don't mean it. It's because I want you to come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I I, I'm okay, though. So what do you okay. think? Let's <laughs> let's try to guess. What do you think, guys, is the largest tropical fruit? Mango. Mango? No, it is not mango. Coconut. It is not coconut. Oh my god. Guys, large pineapple. <laughs> Which one? 
pineapple? Yeah, that is no, a watermelon. No, watermelon? Yeah. It's, it's no. larger? No. No, I mean, come on. We are talking about largest, not big. If Ooh. we are talking about big, you can say that it's a watermelon because it's big. Yeah. But when we are talking about larger, so it's the pineapple. And I think that it's because they count the the flower like the leaves. The uh -huh. spike part. The which one? Spikes. Uh huh. So they count that one. So that's why. Okay, is a popular instrument with jazz musicians. So if I'm talking about instruments, the saxophone. Uh, ah, the, very the good. Saxophone. The saxophone. Remember, if you talk about instruments, you need the article. Yes. Again, is the fastest vehicle for traveling. Um, um, airplane. The airplane. Ah, why do you need the article here? Um, the Brain. fastest. Uh, what is that? Superlative. Superlative. Is the largest a uh, sea animal in the world? Um, the elephant. The whale. The whale, yes. <laughs> okay, the elephant or the whale? <laughs> the, the whale. Elephant is in there. Because the whale is an option, so that... that but it's that's like we're talking about sea. <laughs> uh, I didn't read sea and didn't hear sea. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay. is giraffe. I'm sorry? The I'm oh, sorry. I, I see giraffe, the tallest. Oh, animal. yeah, that is the tallest one. Okay, is the fastest and most popular way that people communicate it's the fastest the cell phone the cell phone all right then it's a type of gun designed to be accurate at long distance and, and it's including the, the, the list of the, the groups on the now, show. now you know the meaning for this one yes or no oh. uh, how yes. to pronounce it rifle Rifle? Rifle. 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 Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, it's late. I'm sorry. I haven't seen the time. <laughs> okay. Let's finish and we it, it, it's over. It's one of the oldest invention in the world. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that I don't need the answer to this one too. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. The, 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 wheel, the, the wheel. The wheel. The wheel. La rueda. The wheel. The wheel. The wheel, yes, you are good at it. And the last <laughs> one, it's um round vegetable, which round the potato. Yeah, the potato. Very good, uh -huh. excellent. So with these examples, you can identify if you are talking about unique things. If it is the first mention, you cannot use that. You need to use a. Uh. But if it is superlative, if you are talking about unique things instruments jobs mm, well not with jobs no you have to use up you just no. have to memorize the scenarios where you need that and when you need a or um got it yes okay. try to review it and in the next classes we are going to continue practicing this topic do you have any questions before leaving everyone no i'm okay all right no winners for tonight because the person that is the winner is not here. <laughs> so you can go, guys. Have a good night. Take care. And see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.